I am back with another favorites video. I honestly had so much fun filming the August favorites video that I literally started making a list right after filming that video for what September favorites will probably be. Alright, so like my last favorites video, the August favorites, which I will have linked below if you would like to see it if you haven't, this favorites video will again have three categories, college life, beauty slash clothes, and media. So let's get started with September favorites. The first favorite in my college life category is my Bath and Body Works Wallflower, which I love. I think it just looks really pretty. I love the white with the gold, but the scent, I don't remember which scent it was. Um, I think it's Sweet Pea or something like that, but it smells so good. I've had many people like walk past my dorm or friends come into my dorm and they're like, wow, your dorm smells so good. And I'm like, thanks. And it's all because of this. And I'm planning on getting like fall and winter scented ones, uh, little add-in things. My next favorite in this category is a little less glamorous, but it is definitely a necessity. Tide Pods! When I do my laundry here at school, these things are amazing. I don't want to have to lug big gallons of soap with me everywhere. A Ziploc and I just grab one of these because it has all the soap and detergent and everything you would ever need um, to do laundry in, just in this little thing. And you just throw that in with your clothes and it just take cares of everything. Take cares of it takes care of everything. Alright, my last favorite in the college life category has been hummus and pretzel chips. Oh my Lanta, I love them so much. I seriously eat this all the time. I love this. This is the tribe sweet roasted red pepper. This flavor is my favorite. Like I've had different brand that has also been the roasted red pepper flavor and it's just so good. Alright, my next category is beauty and clothes. My first thing in this category is Maybelline New York Fit Me Foundation Shine Free, whatever this stuff is. But I have it in the shade 120 because I am pale. But this is just kind of what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it all. But there's like the cream um, foundation type stuff on the outside and then like a little um, shine free dust powder stuff in the middle. I would suggest that if you want to try this, go to Walmart or Target because you can get it a lot cheaper than if you go to a drugstore because I went to Walgreens and it was just like $9 there. Um, my next thing in this category, the beauty slash clothes category, has been my Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Nail Polish. It is in the color Ruby Dew or 490. I just love it so much. I don't know if you can see. But I love this stuff so much. I have it on my nails right now. I love it. It's so great for fall. And it's just a really, really pretty color. I am in love with it. And my last thing is my watch. I got this watch at Target. And I love it. I love it so much. It looks like it's like a really expensive, like really fancy watch. But it was only $20. I know. So now for the last category of my September favorites video is the media section. My first thing in this category is movies and this month I got to see Man of Steel and The Purge at the theater on campus. First off I want to talk about The Man of Steel. I'm not a big superhero movie person like I don't really like them at all so when my friends said that they wanted to see The Man of Steel I didn't really want to go. But I went anyways and was like, oh, I have nothing better to do. I actually really liked it. There were a few times when I was about to cry. It was so sad. And then there was also a few times when I was genuinely terrified. Overall, I really did like the movie. It definitely wasn't a movie that I'd want to watch over and over again, but it was a good movie. The next movie is The Purge and holy moly, I did not want to see that movie. I don't like scary movies at all. But my friends, again, really wanted to go see the movie, so I was like, you know, why not? I have nothing better to do. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I definitely thought it was going to be a lot scarier. I mean, it still freaked the crap out of me, but uh, I just found myself being so mad during the movie. Like, I was genuinely pissed off during the entire movie. Like that kid, seriously? Yeah, I'm hiding from people trying to kill me in a dark house. 
Let me turn my flashlight on so you can find me. Like, really? But honestly, if they didn't have the creepy masks or that weird doll thing was in it, it really wouldn't have been that scary. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I probably wouldn't watch it again because it just made me mad. Next up is TV shows, and holy moly, I am so excited for the fall because all of my favorite TV shows are coming back. So right now X Factor is on and I am in love with that show. It's so good. Also Revenge has come back on so I watched that first episode and it was so good. Some other shows that are coming on later in the fall, well actually no, within the next few weeks, hello, super excited here, is The Walking Dead, Vampire Diaries, The Originals. Oh my gosh, who's excited for that show? I am. Super excited. Supernatural. Super excited for that. Uh, super excited for Supernatural. That's actually not very funny at all. But The Blacklist. I haven't seen the new, the, the first episode yet, but I want to see it so badly. My mom watched the first episode and called me and said, Noelle, you have to watch this show. It is so good. Yeah, so I am really looking forward to a ton of great shows coming back on and some that are brand new. And if you watch The Blacklist and you love it or hate it, let me know in the comments below because I would love to find out your input. Alright, next is music. Some songs that I've been addicted to have been, okay, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's like, it looks like churches, but it's with a V. You know who I'm talking about. The song is The Mother We Share. Holy criminy, that song is so Good. I love it so much. I've been listening to that song literally non-stop ever since I got it. My next favorite for music has been Paramore. Paramore, Paramore, Paramore. Oh my word. I have been obsessed with them for many years. But you've just outdone yourself again. Like, didn't even think that was possible, Paramore. Like, mind-blowing material right here. Their newest album, Paramore, is spectacular. Don't believe me? Check it out. It's really amazing. I'm obsessed. <laughs> and last but not least, like at all, has been my favorite app of the month. But I have been obsessed with Audible. I got it yesterday. I read for two hours straight yesterday. That is a long time. I don't really read very often. Alright, so that is the end of my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed them as much as I did. If you have any favorites for the month of September that you would like me to know about, let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear about what things that you are super into. So yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. I really do hope you guys have a great day and a great week and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye! Before you guys leave, I went home this weekend and I got to surprise my sister. She had no idea I was coming home for the weekend, but I wanted to show you a few quick clips and pictures from the, this weekend because it was so much fun and she was totally surprised. Here you go. Hey, go. You're surprised? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>